today. Oh, I'm never on my phone. Thought if I'm going somewhere, I might as well try and hit everyone up so I can and do as many as I can in one day. It's obviously, getting the train and walking in there about seven miles, eight miles, I don't know how to count. Um, I'm pretty sure I guess, to be honest. So, this place uh, used to be a prison, as far as I'm aware. But I will up update the description just in case I've got anything wrong. I just haven't got much battery left on my uh, phone and app from all the travel I've been doing today. So I don't really want to do anything too much, well, too much of that. I don't waste any of the battery because it's not going back home to that. Back home somehow. So, but as you can see, all these buildings here are uh, boarded up. Prison, old prison. I don't really want to, you know, I don't know what security is about or anything like that. You know, who knows, one or two might be able somewhere they can get in, but we're going to have a look around. There is the prison. It's an active prison and apparently it's for the um, asylum seekers. I've never, I've never been this close. Actually, actually, no, I have actually been in a prison visiting someone before. So, yeah, but that's an active prison there. That's mad. Uh, these uh, houses, uh, this, this is like an army base. Um, these are houses used for like officers and stuff like that. Uh, just been told some stories apparently like in the 1950s, 1960s there was even a Russian spy ring up here as well. Uh, obviously during the Cold War there was a lot of spy stuff going on so I guess you got to expect that sort of stuff sometimes. But yeah, this is a uh, quite interesting area actually to out to me. It's always good to get some information from some locals who can always help you out. Have yeah, we'll a look at this way in a minute, I just want to look around here. Maybe I should invest in a mic as well because I can hear some of the uh, prisoners, I think, inside the wall. That's just, that's really mad to think that. I was expecting to come up here and do a house or two, and that was it. I wasn't expecting anything else. So today has gone a little bit different. and how far I've come on a little bit of battery left so yeah, I won't be doing too much here because obviously my battery's getting low so this is definitely one of those places you've got to come back because it's just too big too much is going on oh look a prison door to an active 
to prison. <laughs> yeah, all these are abandoned. I've done some abandoned places, I've done a fair few abandoned places, but this has probably got to be uh, one of the biggest ones. I can't go any further down there, I don't think. The people in some of these buildings, so I'm not going to risk it either. And my battery is literally about to give out. Yeah, my battery is literally going to run out any second, which is not good. recording but I wasn't um yeah my battery's low about to uh, hook it up to my um, backup uh, battery bank and um yeah and my memory's run out so I'm about to start using my memory card I've been on a well busy one today proper busy uh I was at a section a minute ago but I decided to leave because I don't know who these people were and because I'm on my own it's better to be safe than sorry if you don't know someone uh, but yeah, this place is just, everything's abandoned up here. It is mad. My recording thing keeps going, unfortunately, so I don't know how much of this area I've actually got in. It's, like I said, this place is just abandoned. This is somewhere I'm going to have to come back to and just do a one day on, literally. There's so much here, it's unreal. I can get enough still before it completely goes. It's <laughs> like nothing like a bit of a sea view. Uh, things you put guys' arms and head in. I can't remember what they're called now. If anyone remembers, they can comment. I can't remember what it's called. Unfortunately, I did want to make a longer video, but uh, with obviously running on empty on battery, uh, been on my own. Ran out of uh, phone space on the memory card at the moment. I'm literally probably going to have to come back and do this place another time again and have a little bit more of a detailed look. Because this is definitely one of those places you just want to come back to. I was thinking about buying. 
extensions on batteries, but uh, I wasn't too well recently, so I didn't bother, and I wish I had now. going on, it's, it's, it's beautiful, you know what I mean, uh, still a there's an active person just there, yeah, I think that's it for today to be honest, I've uh, come up here, well, I've done a fair few today, let's be like, my phone is chock-a-blocked, it's unreal. Um, yeah, I think this is some place that's definitely going to have to come back to. It is definitely worth looking at again. It is really an awesome place, you know what I mean? There's so much going on in the abandoned, in the abandoned sense. And it's definitely going to need uh, another look at. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much my video I've, I've kept or lost because I've said I've had problems with this one because I was at the end of everything. So hopefully I'll get my video will be there so you can see all around the facility, well, the abandoned places, bay houses basically, and for yourself. Uh, but yeah. But uh, thank you for watching. And I will catch you on my next video. And uh, goodbye.